Welcome back to the Meta Meditation Practice. We'll begin by finding a comfortable sitting posture. You can close your eyes and then check in with your body. You find a slow and gentle breath to allow the inhale bring you freshness and clarity to the mind and to the body. And then allow the exhale to bring you grounding and relaxation to the mind and to the body. Allow things to settle down. From this moment and forward, allow your mind to be in the present moment. Allow your body to be still. You're not trying to set any expectations, but simply allowing. And then begin cultivating this positive emotion, this feeling we call loving kindness. And it usually helps when you have an image of a loved one. It can be a person, an animal, something that makes you feel grateful, or make you have the feeling of protecting them, the simple form of loving kindness. And picture this individual living the best possible scenario of their lives. And you're just happy for them. And you're sending positive wishes to them. May they be happy. May they be healthy. May they not suffer. And notice what is going on inside of your body when you're cultivating this positive emotion. Allow this feeling in the body to expand and radiate throughout. And knowing that you have a lot of loving kindness a lot more than the body can contain. Definitely enough to fulfill the body. And feel this abundance. And from this abundance, send yourself, your body, your mind, your heart, this loving kindness. You can use the mantra, may I be happy. May I be healthy. May I not suffer. Sometimes the loving kindness towards ourselves can be hard because the relationship with ourselves can be hard. There are a lot of judgment, lots of expectations, maybe some aversion of the things that we wish we're not doing or we wish 
that we have never done. Maybe the expectations that we wish were a certain way other than the way we are. So acknowledge that. And then let all that go. Coming back to this simple stream of loving kindness to ourselves. I understand that you have your flaws, but I love you anyway. And may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you not suffer. And then change the subject. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I not suffer. Now that you have a two individual in your mind already, we're going to introduce a third person whose relationship with you is quite neutral. It can also be a stranger, a person on the street, maybe a neighbor, maybe a co-worker, maybe a, someone that you just know. Not so much, but you kind of know them. Maybe their name, their face. So pick one. Just pick that one person that has such a simple relationship with you that you wouldn't even call them a close friend, just a random person. And bring this person in mind and send this person your loving kindness. May they be happy. May they be healthy. And may they not suffer. Now you have a three individual in the mind that you just sent loving kindness towards. Now we introduce the fourth person. This is someone who you have a complicated relationship with, maybe even have trouble with. Maybe someone who had done you wrong. Kind of a spectrum and you pick one that you can handle today. That you think that you can send them the loving kindness. Can be the extreme person who is your enemy or who have done you a lot of wrong. It can also be a, a person that you can forgive and you just have a complicated relationship together. Not necessarily hatred or aversion or a strong emotion. And for today, this would be the person that you find out of the four of the people we choose the hardest to love. And once you have this person, Try to send them your loving kindness. May they be happy. May they be healthy. And may they be free from suffering. And now, 
we have four individuals in front of us. And do your best to picture them. It can be their uh, image, their face, or the feeling you have when you're with them. It can be just simply their name. Allow this four individual image, picture, name, feeling to be crystal clear. And now begin sending all four individuals your loving kindness. May they all be happy and may they all be healthy. And may they all not suffer. We'll be here for a while. And continue to cultivate this even or same amount of loving kindness to all four of them. And you might notice a certain individual you have way more compared to another. See if you can adjust yourself to give the other a little more. And because you have unlimited, immeasurable loving kindness, the more you give, the more you get. So if there are cups, try to fill all the cups. Person that you love and yourself. and the person who is neutral to you. And the person who is far away from you. Or maybe have trouble with you. The same amount of loving kindness. The common obstacles of this practice is number one, it gets too strong. You experience a lot of emotional scenarios and the feeling gets stronger and maybe the image gets stronger. That is not simply their 
picture their face anymore is the scenarios that you have with them and maybe drawn into the memories and drawn into the conclusions and judgment and aversions and maybe even more hatred and stuff. When these happens, just notice it and then take a deep breath. Allow these things to rest. And you can take a break from generating this loving kindness towards everyone. But come back to your breathing and just do a couple of deep breaths. And if that start feeling good, you can just rest into your breathing practice and then come back later whenever it feels better. Another common ob obstacle we might have is to not able to having the image. You don't know who you love the most, how to love yourself, how to send the loving kindness to the neutral people and count understand or or even start with giving loving kindness to the people you have trouble with and that is also very common a lot of people might think okay i can meditate but probably metta meditation is not something for me maybe this type of meditation is not my type. This conclusion is not necessarily correct, not necessarily um, precise. So everyone can practice metta meditation. And metta can be helpful for everyone, whatever your background is. I would consider giving it a try. Maybe start only one person. Maybe just yourself. And just stay there. Instead of make four individuals. Just make one. And continue to cultivate. This loving kindness. To this one individual. And the last common obstacle is that our mind gets dull. It's no longer sharp. The image is fading and the feeling is fading. And we might even get sleepy. If this happens, it's very common as well. You might need that after a busy day and I would recommend you to still keep your upright seated posture we're not going to sit here forever and do this forever there's an end to this as well while you are in the session just do your best to bring the focus back and that's simply what meditation is form this one-pointed concentration continuously and every time you get distracted come back to the meditation object another great way to conquer this obstacle is that you can expand your four individuals to four group of people. So the images will be more. When it comes to the people you love, there are so many people you love. And you can have these people coming into your mind, coming to your heart one by one. And whenever a person arrives, just say, may you be happy. 
may you be healthy. May you not suffer. From the bottom of your heart, and that person pass, and another person show up. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you not suffer. And then another, another person. So this is a faster pace of loving kindness. You can also even call it more productive because you're sending your positive emotions to so many people at one time. And every single one is sincere. And now you're having this continuous flow of focus in generating this positive emotion. And if you have a lot of people to love, maybe the whole session is all focused on the people that you love. And you can absolutely do that. And when you finish that, you go to the people who are neutral to you. And you continue to do the same thing. The individuals you might meet on the street. And then you can go to the people you have trouble with. And one by one, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you not suffer. And for the last couple of days, we have been doing this loving kindness to ourselves in different stage of life, different age, different scenarios, with different person, different environment, we're able to send loving kindness to ourselves in all kind of situations, past, future, present. So these are the options, the antidote of the obstacles that you can choose from. And for the next five minutes, I'll be quiet and let's cultivate this together.
Yeah, and slowly take a deep inhale. Exhale, let everything go. And gently wiggle the body left and right. And forward and back. Circular motion. Opposite direction. And then back to the center. And on your next inhale, extend your arms out. Exhale, bring the palms together to the heart. Chin down. Loka, Samasta, Sukino, Pavantu. May all beings be happy and free. May my thoughts, words, and actions can help make this happen. Namaste.